I tend to work and this is what happens. What happens and what? Oh my god, this is not good. <laughs> yes. Should be. Yes. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> hey guys, what's happening here? Yeah, I miss you guys so much. It's me, Kuku, Gaga, Silly, but overall, entertaining as usual. So, guys, guess what? So, I had to go to work today. Um, yesterday we had we were snowed in, so we were all access to stay home which is fine by me but this morning around 4 30 in the morning one of the stylists called me and she was like oh guess what you have to go in for me so i was like okay no problem so that means i'll be doing nine to nine which is the double shift so like, okay let's go there and make at least a little coins or something which is fine by me because at this point i don't really want to be there but i have to keep myself busy you know i save something you know so when I went in, right, I realized I have to work with someone that I don't really like working with. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, God, this is fucking ridiculous. So when she saw me, she was like, oh, you came in? Oh, we didn't want to call you. And I was like, we didn't want to call you. Like, bitch, I was an assistant store manager before you even walked through this door. So suddenly we didn't want to call you. Like, the company is yours. Okay. So she was like, thank you for coming in, okay? And I was like, bitch, I didn't come in because of you. I came in because a stylist wants me to come and help out, you know? So I went in, you know, set up, she set up. This bitch decided, oh, by the way, came in one hour early to do her fucking makeup. So she clocked in, but she was doing her fucking, fucking makeup. And I, I that is her superior, was the one doing all the super duties we have to do too prep for the guest <laughs> good i like this white fucking bitch okay let's keep it moving so i was like okay let's just you know do ours and after that pack ourselves you know once nine o'clock p.m i will be out you know 9 a.m to 9 p.m so in my mind i was already countdown to 9 p.m so when i went in there the next uh, so while in there you know i set up so i was like oh by the way i'll be at the back doing my assignments if no one comes in she's like oh okay Oh, um, so how was it yesterday? I was like, bitch, we were fucking close. Like, what are you asking about yesterday? She said, oh, yeah, on Monday. Um, I just wanted to know that when I came in, the AC was off, turned off. I was like, bitch, oh, really? Oh, yeah. If we have any problem, just know that it's our, um, the person who did, turned it off as that bitch. Knowing to whether it's me and one of my friends that work together, so she's trying to put anything that happens in our heads. And I was like, okay. I was like, is everything okay? She's like, yeah. Then we started working. Oh, by the way, I just wanted to talk about Issa. I don't like working with her, but I have no choice. So I was like, okay. So I, I was checking my phone while she was talking like this. Tum, 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 tum. Like, bitch, did she? Like, bitch, you want to start gossiping like at this age, bitch? You should be thinking about finding a man that will marry you. Like, what the fuck are you doing? So I dropped my phone. She went, oh, have you checked the numbers? Oh, no. In fact, we are so low on the numbers. I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember teaching you how to do that, right? She was like, yeah, well. So she was talking to me like I didn't know what to do. So I was like, oh. So I went to the back, did all the super duties, prepped up, and I was like, we are the guests, you know. Because when I go in there, it's like, walk, walk, walk to you. Like, walk, 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 walk until it's my time to go home. So after that, I, you know, finished the stuff. Then I was now doing my assignment. By the way, there's my perfume. I was like, okay. And I was like, oh, it's over there. She's like, oh, I need it. Oh, yeah, it's my, um, something that boys hold in a piece of paper. Those books you punch, hole puncher. Oh, yeah, it's it. I was like, um, I had to leave my assignment in the other room. The break room came to the office. Oh, it's over here. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, thank you so much. And I was like, bitch, you should be doing, like, shut the fuck up and do the numbers if you want to do them. But please don't disturb me. I was like, let me smile, bitch. You know when they spit in your face, like, okay, thank you. So I was like, here we go again. So I thought it would end there. So I tried to keep up with my assignment. Then she goes, oh, so what do you think about me becoming the next manager? And I was like, bitch, really, girl? I was an assistant store manager when you started with the company as a fucking stylist. And today you want to be the, assist, um, the store manager. Okay, you can have it. I don't care at this point because I don't give two fucks. Let's be real. 
we are on different levels. So that, well, you see, I think this store will be a problem because I have to deal with this other study. But I know you, you always be there, you know. And I was like, bitch, so I'll be doing 12, 13,000. And you, bitch, will be doing 4,000, 3,000. And you expect me to be your subordinate again? Like, literally, this is like the sixth time this pass me up for promotion like again I'm like, oh okay yeah it's fine you know so like yeah well if i can if i can take another so i wish i can take you guys with me i was like bitch <laughs> you're putting me in your schedule fuck no like bitch i'm not doing that with you guys at all like this is the last chapter for me with this fucking company that is sexist and racist like i'm not doing it the discrimination is already bullshit so i was like i'm not doing it so like okay but i didn't tell her this part so i'm like okay so while we were working right then she finishes her makeup i was doing my thing she was like oh i'm going to the car I was like, okay you know she was like, oh by the way i'll go to the bank and i'll leave by one or two o'clock i was like oh fine with me which at this point if you leave now so that'll be fine with me because girl i don't want to be seeing your face in the first place you know so I'm like, okay let's just do what we do best which is walk 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 until it's time to go home then i realized that while we were walking you know she was oh i need to do a ticket for this i need to do the other can you just stop like bitch i've done like 60 ticket audits two days ago and i didn't make a big deal at all out of it like it's no big deal like just do your fucking stuff and just let it go oh no bitch this girl was like mm. oh by the way have you seen my boyfriend's picture i was like i don't care about your boyfriend i like bitch i don't care about any like serious girl oh. like the girl took my dress out of my body like i was like okay let's just keep doing what we do then suddenly water started coming out from nowhere Ooh, child i was like oh this company this store has been fucked up right now like the universe camera is a bitch bitches so i was like okay so once i said that i was like okay i have to call the manager but first let me find out if the landlord is there because they were doing the construction on the other house but it came over into our own store so I was like, oh my god. You know, so it was overflowing. So I knew that it was serious shit situation. The oil, the grease and all that. And this guy was like, oh my god, that is poop. I was like, no, it's not. They told me it's poop. I'm like, no, they did not. Like she just blew everything out of proportion. Then she was like, in fact, I'm calling the district leader, which is also known as the manager of managers. Like, the person that manages the managers. So, like, in fact, I'm calling the district leader. I was like, no, let's call the manager. So tell her what's going on but the landlord is here so the landlord i know the landlord takes care of the houses if there's any situation the district leader is like 22 23 years old what the fuck does she know about plumbing like bitch does not like, she doesn't know anything about plumbing like seriously or electric city like seriously girl like, oh yeah i'm calling on i'm calling my bus i'm calling my bus i'm calling my bus i'm like bitch so i told the guys i was like oh yeah she's calling her bus not my boss. She's calling her boss. I bitch. I had to make them understand that bitch. It's her boss. Me. I'm just working with a company, and I know what the fuck I'm doing. But that's her boss. That's the person that will pay her bills. The girl is so stupid that she doesn't even know that we have what we call district. No, not um, district. That we have area supervisors and area, you know, managers. And those are the people like regional managers those are the people that pays your paycheck so she's calling this kid her boss so i was like wow okay you know so i was like okay so i she said oh no you can't call anyone i'm calling the dish so i was like okay so i went and called the landlord the landlord was like thanks for letting me know thanks so we had to stop this work on the other day i said okay you're welcome so they started working on the stuff the next thing i knew the district leader that this bitch called pew in 20 minutes she's like, oh what's going on what's going on so when she started i was like um this is what's going on so she doesn't even know what the fuck they are doing like, i just feel bad when people touch our stuff i'm like bitch they can fire you from that job any day anytime it's not your job you don't have you didn't buy any shares from the company the same way they can fire me that's the same way they can fire you hell they will fire you first before me because bitch i'm on the floor producing lots of money for them that you can never produce in your whole life like you can't produce that so at that point I was like, okay bitch. So I was like, you know what? These people can do what they're doing. So I went, you know, I went away and I texted one of the other stylists to let her know this is what's happening, this is what's happening. They called that girl and they didn't even tell her that 
she should not come in, they told her to come in. I was like, really? So you made this girl come in, then they, uh, once I see the situation, I knew that they will, they will send us home because literally you can tell that that would take forever. It would take all day to do it, you know. So I just knew because I, girl, it's not my first word, you So she was like, oh yeah, oh, by the way, we can use the water. Isn't it the, the, the Miss J? They ask each other, oh yeah, we can use the water. We can turn on the stuff. I was like, no, we can. This situation is from the other building. But just to be safe, we can wash our hands. I said, like, oh, no, you can't touch nothing. It's poop water. I'm like, no, it's not poop water. So the guy, I, then I went and asked the guy, is that poop water? I said, oh, no, that was sewage water from the restaurant on the, on the other side of the building. I said, like, thank you. Then she looked at me, oh, oh. That's when she's dumb and she has seen that, oh, bitch, you're dumb. Like, oh, I'm like, oh, my God. Like, I was like, is it time? Like, is it nine o'clock yet so I can get out of here and I don't have to see this bitch's face with her fake blonde hair and her fake, uh, uh, oh, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. I can't do this. For-. And I'm like, I can't do this. So it was now two chihuahuas talking. They just did that and this kid that is now going to the manager's class because she's the one they want to be the next manager because she has the blonde hair, she has the, all the look, she's white and all the things they're looking for someone they can manipulate i don't know what the fuck they're doing you know she has it so she's she'll be the next manager i, I just found out that bitch doing the classes they already know that i know the fuck what i'm doing because they're like oh wow it's in the book already all this stuff you're telling us is in the book already i was like deep down I was like, so why am i here most of these kids in this class don't even know what the fuck is going on like you they keep asking questions 20 hundred times like fuck get the fuck out of here like you bitches like i'm so dumb because we're not on the same level in the first place so i was like okay just brush that aside you know so i started you know doing my stuff you know doing my stuff and then, oh so what are you doing i'm like well i'm doing a graduate course in business management a graduate certification course in business management online they're like oh really what's that i was like well it's just something about this you know and deep down that bitch you don't know what the fuck i'm doing so just walk away then she was like oh Guess what? Five minutes later, the district leader called the manager that I was to call. Then this other one was like, oh, did you call her? I was like, yes, bitch. And I was like, that was what you're meant to do the first instance. instance. But you decided to make me call me a fool because if you since I'm from Africa and black, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Okay, bitch. At this point, you guys are now the fool. So I sent the manager a text like, Hey girl, I wanted to call you first, but these people were like, oh no, unacceptable, oh no. They wanted to, you know, so I had to stay away. So she was like, oh, thank you so much for letting me know. I know you always do things that are, you know, best for the store. You know, I was like, oh, no problem. It's my job to put, um, support you as a manager. I'm in the management team, so I will do my job always. So let's clear this aside. Now we now have bubbling water, dirty water flowing out all over the you know floor so i knew we are not working today like today was done after that happened so they were like oh by the way guys um we'll have to close the store but first just see let's see if we can give it 30 minutes so during that 30 minutes this the street leader suddenly was like oh by the way guys i just want you guys to know that there is a difference between a blowout and a blow dry and i was like Okay, so me, I, I was not there. So the next thing, this girl, the Miss J, asked me, said I want to be a manager. I was like, oh, guess what? Um, Tanya, can you come and listen to the district leader? I was like, why should I do that? I was like, okay, I know. Sometimes you have to play along, even if you know better. So I went there, she went, oh, I just want you to know that there's a difference between a blow dry and a blow out. I was like, yeah, one is $35 and one is $12. I know that I always told you guys two years ago that you guys should not be giving $12 blow dry blowouts like it doesn't mean oh yeah that was when it first came out we didn't get it that time now we understand i was like yes bitch and you're a fucking district leader so we have stylists shift supervisors shift managers um pending store managers or assistant store managers bona fide then we have salon managers and then district leaders so i was like and I'm an assistant store manager, so I already know, like, I was like, see, I know this stuff, but because of corporate discrimination and racism in America, I'm under here, breaking my back, 
producing half a million dollars for you guys, like producing six figures every year for you guys for nothing, just to be called stupid to my face. But at this point, I don't care any longer because soon I'll be leaving the company. Hopefully, that's my goal to leave the company in the near future. I cannot resign there or retire there at 65. That's not gonna fucking happen. Like, no fucking way. So, I'm fine with that, you know. So, she's like, oh, yes, you told us about it. We, I remember. I was like, yeah. Two years ago. Now you remember. Okay. So, that ended. Then, 30 minutes back. Uh, fast forward to 30 minutes later. Oh, by the way, I just want you guys to know that uh, you guys will be closing for the day. I was like, oh, okay. That's fine. So, she was like, oh, so do you want to go to a different store to walk? Oh, that bitch. Deep down, I was like, well, it looks like I don't have to do 9 to 9. So in my mind, I was like, bitch, I have to go home. Like, not home, but house. Like, I have to leave, you know? I have other things to do, you know? So she was like, do you want to walk in another place? I was like, why? She was like, oh, so that way, if people come here for you guys, we can tell them what stores you guys are working in. Deep down, I was like, bitch, I don't even want to be here. I don't even want to be, like, I'm here to pay my bills. Like, at this point, I really... It's a job. Like before, you know, now it's a job. Like I don't know if I still want to be a hairstylist at this point because working with this company has just, you know, made me somehow start disliking what I do, you know, because I feel like a robot and I hate that feeling. Me, I'm just like, okay, next, next, you know, that kind of feel. She was like, yeah. So um, she was like, then she started calling the stores and when she called them, I was like, um, let me put it this way. No. She called on us. I'm like, nope. Nope, no, nope. and that's because let me tell you guys why. All these stuff she's calling, they're already like, Oh, Daniel, and they were, oh, Daniel, we fight about Daniel's numbers. Oh, like literally, they hate me and they hate me because I go to New York for my master classes. Like, I'm a wild card, um, that I feel that I'm better than them, and blah 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 blah. That they have the positions, but yet I feel I'm like, uh, You can have the positions, but once we walk out that door, bitch, we are on different levels of her style, and like, bitch, we are not on the same level at all. So, um, you guys can get all these positions because of this company's discrimination and sexism, that's fine, but don't ever for a second think that I would like seriously go like, like these children. I was like, These chihuahuas, like, I was like, I'm dealing with chihuahuas now, I have to. So I was like, I'm not going to the stores any longer to break my back for what? Minimum wage? Get the fuck out of here. So then I she called another store and that was talking never in my body because that was the store I was working as a shift manager, which is also an assistant store manager. But I had a stylist there. That stylist was promoted within three to four months to store manager. And that girl had the nerve to tell me, oh, Daniel, would you like to come back and be my shift manager? I was like, are you fucking kidding me? So you were my stylist. I should now come and be your, like seriously, be your shift manager. Because this company is so sexist that they can, I can't have a store as a store manager. So I should come and be, so I was like, so I told her, well, I'm sorry, but I'm not going, I'm not going there. So like, um, what about this store? I'm like, nope. Like, these stores are stores that I stopped going for a reason. How many years ago? Like one or two years ago. Why would I go back? Like it's like a dog going back with your tail behind your in between, between your legs. I'm not doing that. You know, so I was like, okay. Then this MJ asked said that is to be the uh, new manager. Oh my god. Don't I don't feel that way. Don't think like that. If it's me, I love to go to other stores. Deep down that no bitch, you hate to go to other stores. Like whenever they put you in the schedule to go to a different store, you are the same person that will come to me and say, Oh my god, I can't believe the manager put me to go work in a different store. I don't like it, but I have to do it. Oh my god, I can kiss any ass just to get what I want. And I'm like, You're the same fucking person? Now because you see this district leader suddenly, oh my god, I because the district leader is like a manager managing the manager. So she, oh my god, I love to work in other stars. No, bitch, you don't love to work in no, no, no fucking other stars. Like, fuck you, like, girl, get the fuck out of my sight. Me, you do something wrong, bitch, I'm telling you, your, to your face, behind your back, in the ground, with the volcanoes, in the car, in the mantle, over the rainbow, in the clouds, in the sky, outside of space. I'll tell you the truth because. I feel karma is a bitch. 
I have to give good energy out, be truthful and sincere so I can get girls back to me. I'm not gonna be fake as to nobody. And this is like the sixth time that they've passed me up for promotion because they said I'm a wild card, I'm too dominant, I'm intimidating, I'm too smart, it must be a cultural thing, I'm too intelligent. I get the fuck out of my side. Like, seriously, bitch, just tell me to my face why. Like, seriously. Yeah, I know why. Like, don't don't play with me. So she was like, okay. So the next thing I was like, then she brought up the topic again. Like, oh my God, guess what? You can't use the water. You can't use it. Uh, you can't turn on the top. I was like, no, you can't. So I told you this really that go and use the restroom. When you use the restroom, if volcano comes out from the restroom, then I know that we did something wrong. She went and used the restroom and it was fine. Meanwhile, this girl was there. Oh no, you can't use the Western diet. No one can use it. Started screaming at me. So everyone was looking at her like, seriously, girl, like this is the first. Like, seriously? You know, so me, I was like, well, I'm walking away. I'm a queen. Look at me. Like, seriously. I'm a queen. And I was like, like a queen does it. Like a Michelle Obama says, when the strike low, you walk, go high. So guess what I did? I just cut work. Bye, guys. I'm walking away, and that's what I did. I walked away, carried my bag, flip, flip, zipped it, pack up. I'm like, bye, guys. And guess what I did? I looked at the ground and the flowers. I'm like, that's bitch. Karma is a bitch, and the universe is saying a little bit of what's in my heart. I was like, yeah, you, when you treat people badly, this lo- this world is amazing. Like the universe is amazing how it works. So at that point, I was like, okay, bitch. Carry my bag, tell my phone and I go, we out of this bitch. And that's what I did. I didn't even, me, go working for another star. Get the fuck out of here. Bitch, let's just put it this way. I packed my bags, my cute bag, and my other bag, and I was out that bitch. So anyway, if you guys love this video, and then guess what? That kid still stayed. She was to leave at one or two, but just to kiss ass at um, the two I was saying, yes, you are the next person for the star. She stayed for maybe on the channel 30 minutes or so. But me, I was out because I'm sorry, I don't need the place. I don't need the company. I don't need the place. I've, I wouldn't say outgrown it, but I've outgrown it. Like, I want, I want to do better for myself. And I'm not going to live on minimum wage for the rest of my life. I got the fuck out of here. So, anyway, if you guys love this video, what will you do? You can like it, you can share it, you can subscribe. But it's always a pleasure doing this video because I just get to be real with you guys and not fit nothing. Bitch, I'm not doing fit. You're <laughs> like, nope. Anyway, I love you all. Mm-hmm. And hope to talk to you guys real soon.